Every year, the World Championships of Irish Dancing, held in Galway, Western Ireland, bring together young competitors from all over the world. Opening shot followed six aspiring dancers from London, Dublin and New York as they prepared for this gruelling competition. We also met Grania Feely and Colin Dunn, two world champion Irish dancers. dancing because um, it gets you fit and um, I like it. There's the nice things to be won in Irish dancing. I like Irish dancing so much because it's fun. I meet people from all over uh, the United States. I come from New York and Irish dancing reminds me of how my family came from Ireland. Step dancing is kind of fun because whenever I have a lot of weight, I get to burn it off and stuff. My friends really don't like me dancing, but I, I think it's just jealousy. This is the 26th year of the World Irish Dancing Championships and it's been held in Leisureland in Galway. It's a major event for a child to, to be chosen to come to the World Championships. It's the pinnacle of what competitive dancing is about. When you're dancing, you can't see anybody. Nobody distracts you if there's a lot of noise in the hall and you get very nervous and everything, but when you go up on the stage, you're fine. Well, I like Irish dancing because it like, keeps me fit and I like it when we travel all around the world as well. And I liked it when we went to America for a competition once. Irish dancing is a great way of keeping people in touch with their roots. I think for a lot of people away from home, Irish dancing is the only source of contact they have. Irish dancing within London is very, very popular. We have an estimated 60 teachers within London at an approximate or an average 100 children per class. So that's an average of 6,000 children within London who's actually doing Irish dancing. I got started because all my relatives and uncles and that are in, involved and I started when I was four and um, I've been, I think I've been getting better since then and I won the Great Britain this year. It takes a lot of time and dedication to actually be as good as you want to be. If you do dedicate yourself to being a good dancer, then you will be good. Irish dancing in America is very good. I think we have some very good dancers here, uh, dancing for the World Championship. Children in um, America wouldn't know anything of their Irish roots unless we had the traditional Irish music and the dance. And through the Teachers Association, dancing has become very, very popular. You have to be very dedicated and willing to practice as much as you have to. And you have to, I practice about an hour a day. Well, I've been dancing since I was four, and I've won the 
the Great Britons, the Leinsters, and I got third in the All Irelands and third in the Worlds. My aunt brought me into dan dancing and she said, would you like to start? And I didn't really like it at first, but as I went down, I liked it. I've danced four and a half years and I think I'm dancing pretty well. Children in general love going to dance in front of an audience with a costume on. But I think sometimes the mothers even like it more than the children. But uh, having said that, my mother was a fanatic and she was the one who started me off uh, with dancing. But then it was like, when I danced, it was like going to a picnic. Believe it or not, dance in the back of lorries. So we've come a long way since then. I started dancing when I was about four, so it's all I've ever really known, really. Once the music goes on, I'm in a world of my own. It's just the love of my life and that's it. <laughs> I've had a lot of pleasure from dancing. It's, it's like a passion with me. As you say, when the music starts going, the feet just going, and that's it. For a long time, there's no real great demand for Irish dancing. It's very popular now, and people appreciate it as um, a very difficult and exciting art form to watch. So after all that, have you got any questions you'd like to ask? What age were you both when you started dancing? I started going to lessons when I was three. and Decided that I didn't like lessons, so I retired at the age of four. And then made a comeback <laughs> at five, and I've been at it ever since. So. What are the three more, most important things in Irish dancing? Well, timing certainly has to be one of the most important things. Um, I think a cool head. <laughs> <laughs> and... I think you have to have keep your own mm -hmm. personality and turn it into something that you can use for your for yourself to your best advantage. Do you think dancing is a good source of exercise? Mm, absolutely. Well, how tired do you feel at the end of a jiggle? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a good form of aerobic exercise. It and feels fun as, as well. if it must be good for your heart anyway. Well, it must be. Yeah. different styles of dancing. There's Cayley dancing and solo step dancing, which are completely different. But the Cayley dancing is fun. It's formation dancing with groups of people. There are two different styles of Irish dancing. There's the soft shoe dancing and there's the heavy shoe dancing. Soft shoe dancing is uh, light reels, slip jigs, hop jigs, single jigs. Shane was practicing his reel today. Now this is a soft shoe dance. Um, when I mean soft shoe, you don't have any noise coming from it. In heavy shoe dance, you have the trebles, you have the tips on the shoes, which give you the, the sound effect. The soft shoe for boys is different than for girls. They, are more, they wear more like a ballet pump and they would perform more intricate ankle work. The boy would go more for lifting in the dance, um, doing clicks, which is bringing the heels together to make a sound. We were dancing the reel today. It's um, one of the most beautiful dances that we have. It's very balletic, if you notice. A lot of the movements that we do nowadays are taken from ballet itself. What did I tell you about the rocks? How to do them? 
Keep your knees together. Yeah, and what else is very important? Stay on your toes. What about the quadricep muscles? Keep them tight. Yes. All right, so try it up here against the mirror, okay? That whole last section. Hop, rock, two, three, hit your butt, two, three. That was all open, your knees were wide. You could drive a truck through there, come on. Two, three. Oops. Oh, bad, 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 do it again. It's called a rock and you move side to side with your knees totally straight, which I can't do, and together, and you're on rock, your tiptoes and you just move from side to side. It's pretty hard, because I can't get on my tiptoes like that. Three. That's the girl, do it again. Rock, two, three, hit, back, two, three. That was much better. The hornpipe is in 4-4 time, similar to the st style of the reel, but s much slower. And it's got lots of syncopated rhythms, treble, double and treble and quadruple clicks. It's supposed to be an English dance taken from Elizabethan times. Uh, I don't want to think about that either because there's no proof of this. And it's probably one of the, my favorite dances, the hornpipe. Um, when I was doing my hornpipe, I had to remember to keep my hands in and keep balance, get all the noises right, all the rhythm and things like that. Go. Dilly D up with that, Dilly D up with D up with that. Right, that was better, the timing was better, but we just didn't get the treble. Dilly D up with With somebody as young as Mark, you have to be very, very careful in your correction. He is inexperienced. You have to make sure that you take him through the programme very, very slowly. No. Right. Now just a little bit more emphasis on the left foot especially. Do it again. Go. Right. One more time. Good the hornpipe um, I dance today and I find it's the easier dance to the jig. It's longer but I prefer it very much because I like the rhythm and I've got, um, I've won an awful lot of prizes for it so I have more confidence in it. Aoife, when she performs, her carriage is perfect. She's terrific rhythm for a child of her age. She also has a great ability to pick up very difficult material. Um, some of the material she does would be even difficult now for a 15, 16 year old. The dance I was doing today was a set dance called Three Sea Captains. You have to remember to keep in time, arms by side, cross your feet and keep the music in your head so you know what you're doing <laughs> all the time. I know you're going to go mad, but I want to change a bit of that step. Right. Oh. The, you know where you do the pause and then up, one, two, three, that bit. What I want you to do is to add a toe in there. Um, to go. One of my biggest faults is that I keep on changing material. I get bored very easily with it and Emma had been dancing it really well and I just saw this gap in the step of the set dance. That's the first part of the set dance. Uh, that I felt that could be embellished a little, right? So she was very uh, patient with me, and uh, she's a very talented child. Picked it up very quickly, and I'm sure within the next two weeks we'll have it polished off so that she'd look like she'd been doing it for about a year. No, you wait to. And so and so, and she took the table, what it? And she wants to say. And she took it down, she took it, treble down, the treble, what are we down, the treble, what are we? And she took it, so and heel and so and heel and so and treble, and she took it, treble, and she wants to say, good girl, excellent, good. Forget the click. It takes an excellent dance to be able to portray a set dance very well artistically in bringing out the, um, the lyrical qualities. Some of the set dances were probably composed in the 18th century as most of Irish solo dancing as we know it now seems to have developed from that time. I have to remember all the steps and I have to remember to get my clicks in and to have good posture. Back, hop, up, hop, hop. That's it. Good. Okay, watch your hands. 
when you're dancing, keep your, 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 your fingers closed. Yeah, keep on closed, keep your chest out. Uh, keep smiling, okay? <laughs> the chancellor in Galway is going to be tough. It's going to be very hard. Uh, you've got to hold yourself right. You can't shake your shoulders. You can't move your hands. You've got to be able to do the footwork. Of course, the kids all over are very good dancers. They come from all over to Galway, and we are very happy to be there. And uh, we have a good time in Galway. The competition in Galway is very hard. And um, there's going to be lots of people from different places. And I'm looking forward to it, and I'm going to try my best. I think I'll have a lot of competition because you have to be one of the best to get to Ireland and these girls all have to be really good. I'm feeling nervous because there's going to be a lot of people a bit better than me and stuff. I think the World Championships in Galway um, are very important and I think they're, they're the hardest competition to compete in. I don't know how well I'll do because it depends on how well I dance in the day and if I'm nervous, too nervous, I might like tighten up and I might dance at school but if I'm not as nervous, I probably dance my best. I'll be quite disappointed if I don't get through the first world, but I'll just keep going and try to do my best. Watch that start, but it's right crossed over. The first round starts with the light dance for uh, both the boys and the girls and then we have what we call round two which is the first heavy dance. Out of that then we compute the results and we end up with approximately the top 50 children. Carriage. Now, carriage means how they hold themselves, how they move around the stage, and how they finish, how they use their feet.
you're going to recall a few of them. I'm hoping so I can come back. It's very hard up there, and I'm enjoying it. There's quite a few good, but not all of them are that, is that good. So. I don't think I did too well, and um, I think that somebody else might have gotten the first place. I'm just seeing, I'm just um, kind of loosening out and hope to do my best. Nine, 13, 14, 26, 32, 82, 83. A winner has to have everything. We look for um, a poise, presentation, time, uh, execution at the steps. And it might be just down to um, a half a mark, but it could be just the general presentation and the way that they executed the steps. Thank you. 